Hello and welcome. Welcome back if it's uh, if you're following the series of Tutorial 5. This is Tutorial 5 Part 3. And in Part 3 I'm going to cover how to use that FTP server we created on our virtual machine and how to then create a flex image. To quickly recap what we've done so far, and Tutorial 5 has been rather a long tutorial, uh, divided into three parts. In parts 1 and 2, we covered um, cancelling using the customer portal here, a, a device. So on our device list, we only have one device left now. I did have a Sassify 1, so we cancelled Sassify 1, we created Sassify 2, we've loaded um, a standard LAMP plus an FTP server on there. So we have Apache, MySQL and PHP and we can see here is Apache running on this host 1598141163 and here's the FTP server I've just logged into. So we have a an FTP server which we now want to use. So how do you actually use this thing? Well one of the best ways is to download and install FileZilla. If you've never used FileZilla, it's a really handy um, FTP client that sits on your desktop or your Mac and it will enable you to log in and transfer files much more easily. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download and install this now. I will point out it does come with bundled offers and I think one of these is called SkyDrive or something. Um, so let's be careful as we install this. So I'm going to click to download. It'll start shortly, four seconds, and that'll come down on my Mac. Here it comes. Whoops, let me uh, bring this up so you can see. There it is. It's come down as a tar, and I now have an installer. Okay. So here's FileZilla, double click, okay, continue, we're going to agree the license, here's the extras, ZipCloud, sorry it's called, um, I'm going to skip this, if you skip this it'll be a much quicker install, so I'm going to skip, skip that, it's only 7.5 meg, Okay, there it is. So that's it. It's that quick. And that gives us a FileZilla window. I'll just bring it into our window. So here's FileZilla. And what you do then is the host that we're going to is 159.8.14.163, I think it was. We're going to use the username we created earlier. Doesn't matter about the port, it'll assume it's 21. And there we go, and there's nothing in it. So on the right hand side, you will see the remote site. And here's our root directory of the remote site that we jailed this user EJK into. And here's our local file system. So if we now just move a file, drag and drop, it's that simple. You can see that it went over and there it is and if we now go and refresh this page it takes a couple of seconds there we go we've just used FileZilla to transfer files over so this is a great way of gaining access to your virtual machine and in tutorial 2 or 3 I think it was I was using SCP to move files well, this is why I installed the FTP server. So now I can actually transfer lots and lots of files using drag and drop nice and easily and gain access to our, uh, to our virtual machine. So that's how to get using the FTP and using FileZilla to do that. So if I now kill FileZilla, I can get rid of this page. So we're happy with our server. We're, you know, we like the server. We've set it up the way we want to set it up. What if I want another server? And I want to set it up in exactly the same way. I mean, tutorial two was a bit of a canter. Uh, sorry, tutorial five, part two was a bit of a canter. 
um, it took 10, 10 and a half uh, minutes to actually install the Apache, the MySQL, and do all the things that we did, and to install the FTP servers. Now, one of the great features of software is Flex Images. So what I can actually do now, and what you can do with your service, is when you actually go from devices into the broader device listing, and more information about this device, on the Actions menu here, there's Create a Flex Image. So I'm going to click on that, and we can give it a name. I'm going to call it Standard Lamp. I'm going to add a note saying, uh, this is how I set my lamp server up with FTP. And we can save it. So we're going to create this as a template, as a flex image. Now that's going to require taking down our existing machine and then restarting it up again. So I'm going to give that a few minutes to run. I'm going to stop the video there and I'm going to start it up again once the flex image is created. But take my word for it, that will now go away, create the flex image, takes about 15, maybe 20 minutes, and then I'll show you how you can use that flex image to create other servers. And so here we are. Um, it's a couple of hours later, actually. I had some uh, other stuff to get on with. But here's our Satisfy 2, and our virtual uh, image should be now a flex image. If I go to Devices, Manage Images, and indeed, there it is. Standard lamp, flex image, created today. Lovely. So from here, this is the, one of the great things about uh, software is I've now captured a standard build of a machine. So I'm now going to order, this time I'm going to order an hourly virtual server using this image. So from the image management templates, let me just do that again and walk through that. I go into Devices, Images, and from there, I actually say, I'm going to order an hour virtually server, an hourly virtual server. And that brings me up another customer portal. So I'll just log in again. And now you can see the menu actually says at the top, configure your cloud server ordering from Flex Image. So it's actually going to use our Flex Image to install this server. We only have to select the data center, and that's pretty much it. I'll leave everything else the same. Continue with the order. It's going to ask us now to fill in the name of the machine. I'll call it Satisfy 3. I'll stick with the software.com. And that's it. I've read and agreed. Finalize your order. Excellent, there's our receipt, there's my email telling me what I've actually ordered, and now we just have to wait and see. So I'll kill that. If I go back to devices list, there's my other server pending. It's disk image cloud provision. So it's coming from my flex image and it's awaiting. So I'm gonna stop this now and we'll come back and log in to Satisfy3 in just a second. Okay, so I've just had the email telling me that uh, Satisfy3 is ready. It's sort of still showing some stuff here. 
that it's pending transaction. Oh, it's pending the monitoring being set up. But uh, it's now available, according to my email. So if we go to passwords, and we get the root password of it, take that in here, bring up our shell, and we're SSH. Eight fourteen one six two, I believe. There we are. We're logged in now. We had taken an image from a server where we'd configured Apache, um, MySQL, and PHP to all be running, and FTP. So, uh, how can we check whether those packages are there? Um, probably the easiest way is to list the uh, open files um, to see what sockets are actually listening on this machine. Um, I remember the syntax. Yep, and there we go. MySQL is running and is listening. HTTP is running and VSF. TP is running as well. So that means I should be able to uh, log on to MySQL. Now remember we set a root password and it's asking me for a password and yet yeah, it has taken the password that I set on the image. Um, I can do show databases because we got rid of the test database and indeed it's gone. If we go back up here and do an FTP and it's in there, it's asking us to log on. Now we created a user as well, so let's see whether our image has taken over our user. And indeed it has. So it's taken all of the information that we had from Sassify 2, it's packaged it up into a flexible image that we've now saved within the portal and any time we want to create a machine that's identical in configuration to our standard service image we just go in here and order one and it uses the image that we have ourselves created we could put anything we want on there um, I better just check the HTTP server is working I just thought um, Whoops, I don't want to go to the FTP. I want to actually just go to there. Yeah, and it's even got the um, the file that we set up. Um, there it is, the index PHP that we actually set up earlier. So everything is there. So all we need to do now is anytime we want a server that has Apache, MySQL and PHP set up the way we want it set up. As I said earlier, I'll do another one of these videos where I'm going to set up Ruby and I'm going to set up Python, but the principle remains. You can now just order it using the flex image that we created earlier on today. I hope this part, uh, sorry, part three and this tutorial five was really useful for you. We've cantered through a huge amount of detail. Um, my name's Eamon Killian. Thanks very much for listening.